This book of the law. This book of the law shall not depart. Shall not depart from my mouth. From my mouth. I will observe to do everything that is written therein. I will observe to do everything that is written therein. And I will meditate on it both day and by night. And I will meditate on it day and by and night. I and I will make my way prosperous. Will make my way prosperous. And I shall have. And I shall have good success. Good success. I am the head. I am the head. And not the tail. And not the tail. I am above. I am above. And I'm not below. And I'm not below. Whatsoever things I call forth. Whatever so things I I call for shall be come to pass. Shall come to pass. I thank you. I thank you. That I have the God kind of faith. That I got the God kind of faith. And when I pray. And when I pray. And I believe those things that I pray. And I believe those things I pray. I shall have them. I shall have them. What I put my hand to. What I put my hand to. I prosper. I prosper. When I pray. When I pray. I forgive. I forgive. As I have been forgiven. As I have been forgiven. I thank you. I thank you. That the will of God. That the will of God. In Heaven in heaven has been manifested has been manifested on earth on earth in my life in my life in Jesus name in Jesus name amen amen okay we're gonna do a quick review and summation and conclusion I was trying to do another message but it wouldn't quite download it just wouldn't quite download I don't know how God speaks to a lot of people, but it's like a downloading, and sometimes you can't download in certain areas because it's not connected right. Amen. So heaven wasn't talking to me about this. I was proceeding to go to it, but heaven wasn't. And I worked with this message with uh, Pastor Mike Brown last week, praise the Lord, so it might be a little redundant, but it's some things that we need to know. And we'll talk about it, but remember that the letter of the law condemneth. But the spirit of the law bringeth forth life. Remember that. Amen. Please remember that. Amen. And remember that when you are moving in the spirit of God, in the prophetic, remember to give what God says in all the all the, the testimony of all prophecy is the witness, the manifestation, redemptive work of what Jesus Christ has done what the Holy Ghost is doing, amen, according to the word and the mind of God, amen, praise God. So let's go over to um, Luke 15, and I want to show you a couple things. We have three people involved in this story of the prodigal son. We have three, I'm sorry, really four, four people involved, amen. What are the four people involved? The father. The father. The two sons. The two sons. And Jesus. And Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, how is Jesus Christ involved in this story? He's telling the story. He is <laughs> telling the story. Now, if he's telling the story, from what perspective is he telling the story? Condemnation, reconciliation, grace, mercy. Which one? Reconciliation and uh, grace. Reconciliation and, and what? Grace. Grace and, and mercy. Else? And mercy. And what else? He's showing how condemnation, amen, accusations, amen, work, but they don't represent his father. They don't represent his father. Hello, somebody? Amen. So let's look over in 15. I'm going to have someone read it. And then I'm going to basically summarize and try to capture all the particulars in there and how we relate this to basically not other people but yourself. I love somebody because whatever happens to you, amen, or comes at you, it doesn't affect you, okay, as it comes and affects you as you connect to, connect to it from a place of grace, mercy, victory, amen, or condemnation. No one can condemn you because there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus who walk after the spirit, amen, and not after the flesh. And the righteousness of the law is available to those who walk after the spirit and not after the flesh, amen? amen. People need help. Amen. <laughs> amen. Now, when I say people, I'm a people's. 
We all need help. Amen. I'm a people's. <laughs> Amen. I need help. And I thank you for your help. I thank you for your prayers. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And if you decide not to give it to me, I know I can go into a throne room. Amen. Hello? Of grace and mercy and receive it in the time of need. And I, I don't just like walk in there, you know, with shame and da 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 da. I walk in there boldly. Okay? Amen. It's a South Philly kind of move, you know? Uh -huh. I put my Barcelona on, okay? <laughs> I walk up in there, okay? And you know, sometimes you got to demonstrate some things that you can see. See, I, one of my favorite things in, um, in school was acting club. I loved it. I love being an actor. We know. Okay? So. <laughs> Act like a North Philian. So you go up. You go up in the throne room of grace. <laughs> and you proclaim, amen, that grace and mercy is available for you. No matter how you go in, what you've done, but it's not what you've done, it's who you are. Mm -hmm. I love somebody, amen. amen. See, 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 the hat's on me. The hat can't do nothing. It can't even jump on my head or be taken off of my head. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And most of y'all don't know anything about Barcelinos. Mm -hmm. Amen? But see, I knew him from a kid. <laughs> yeah, we got Praise God. So I'm saying is that you have to <laughs> enter in yourself. You don't need anybody to open the door because Jesus said, I am the door. Teach, mm -hmm. sir. I am the door. Mm -hmm. I love somebody. Amen? And if I see a brother struggling, amen, and trying to work his salvation out with fear and trembling, man, why are you trying to work your salvation out with fear and trembling? What's up with you? But you know, come on, bro. Come on with me. Let me talk to you for a minute. Amen. This is how it goes. Amen. I've been there. I've done that. Amen. I'm praying. Can you be touching the degree? Can we walk this thing out with fear and trembling? Amen. And you're going to see how the Father does this. Amen. And who represents what? Amen. Now, the thing is, what do you represent when you're ministering to people? Mm. Come on. Amen. What do you represent? Hallelujah. What do you represent? How many fingers you pointing? Because I told you that you don't know the day when your faith will be tried. Well. And until your faith is tried, guess what? It's it not ain't what? faith. Oh, y'all, y'all need to help me. Come on. Until your faith is tried, it ain't faith. It ain't faith. Hello. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Now, GMAC or GM, they test windshields to see if they can take certain kind of elements. And it doesn't get stamped as a GM windshield until it has been tried. Now, you have a good season. <laughs> And you have a bad season, mm -hmm. but God still calls you son, and he still calls you daughter. Oh, yes. And before the foundation of the world, he said, I knew you before you were even formed in your mother's womb. And I have called you as what? As a prophet to the nations. See, I knew that. And there is all of the grace and mercy appertaining to the call. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. 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 Thank Thank you. You. Thank you, Let me tell you something. Every great man or woman in this book had issues. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone. And David said, my <laughs> transgression." By having faith in you will lead men back to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we have a ministry of transgression. Come on. Amen. But you got to know the spirit and the heart of God. Yes. yes. I love somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, if you were looking at me at 14 or 15, okay, I did not look. The destiny didn't look like what you see today. It's to be careful. Because when I was 15, I had an 18-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> you like them old, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more grown. Like, Jesus grown. <laughs> I'm more grown. 
And she ain't taking me to church. <laughs> I know. Well. She didn't take me to Disney World. But she turned my world. <laughs> All out. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm trying to tell you something because what you see with your natural eye mm -hmm. is very limited yes. mm -hmm. but if you see according to the spirit it is infinite be respectful and retrospectively to the image of God and what God is doing See, I remember when you didn't have husbands. I remember when you didn't have long cars. Amen. I remember when you didn't have jobs. I remember I remember, I remember, I remember. But guess what? It didn't stop God's mercy and grace from being infused in you. Because it had already started, because he who had begun a good work had started that before the foundation of the world. So what I say is we have to get our mouths off of people, amen, and get love on them. Say that again. Hello. Amen. Because he... We love him because he what? First, First loved us. Loved us. I don't know about you, but you, <laughs> I've learned to really listen to God made a way. Yes. Through his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. I'm a and Thank you, Lord. See, if you look at things that are seen, they're temporal. Things that are not seen are eternal with God. Amen. People need prayer. Hello, somebody. Yes. Amen. And as a physician, we were always taught you take the patient as you find them. So they didn't take their medicines. They're in the emergency room now and they're going through a, a cardiac arrest. You don't go back, oh man, no, they didn't take the medicine, man. I saw them drinking and start smoking. That weed, that weed today, it's ain't like the weed of yesterday. Well, what should we do? You better get on that person's chest. You better infuse them with some epinephrine. Come on, somebody. You better handle that just rhythm here real quick. You better aerate them, amen? You better compress them. You better breathe for them. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody? Hello. Amen? Amen. See, if, if I had a look at some people when they were walking down the street, and they were high and they were jacked up. See, religion would have said, no, 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 no. You can't lay hands on them because they're high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thank you, Lord. They'll never be nothing because they're high walking down Thank the street. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank and they're not married. Mm -hmm. And they're hanging up. Hello. Thank you, Lord. But see, God's already yes. handled that. Yes. Yes, yes Lord. Already handled that. Hamamosata, you're to usher them in. Kababosia yeah. dandasha. So bosa, come here for a minute. So you go in the theater, amen, and you have a ticket, right? All right, you ain't dressed right, amen. You got a little jacket, your hair's all messed up, right? And you got a ticket on the front row, and it's called Seating Heavenly Places with Jesus, and you pull it out. And they don't take you. Ah, right, well, man, I don't think you deserve. You paid me with me in the downs for this seat, man. You should pay them. I should grab you and say, son, this is your seat. Because you're seated. Amen. In heavenly places with Christ Jesus. And see, it wasn't printed in the, in the ticket office. It was printed in the Lamb's Book of Life. Before the foundation of the world. So you can go back to your low row seat. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. So remember, intercession is kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is forceful. Mm -hmm. It is effective. But it is kind. Yes. Amen. Everybody that Jesus called but God called, they were not qualified. They were pretty jacked yeah. up. 
they were jacked. They were jacked. They were jacked. Amen. They were jacked. And he's called most of us, and some of us are still jacked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. You're still jacked. Amen. 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 Okay. And John talks about it in 1 John 2. If you don't love your brother, yeah. you're walking in darkness. Well. Okay. You're walking in darkness. You're blind. They say you're stumbling mm -hmm. over relationships. Okay. All right. And I was told that you should, I know in medical school and when I was um, in Cheney learning to be a teacher and whatever, you, 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 you followed, okay, knowledge. You followed wisdom, okay? You followed expertise. And, they, and I, I was taught that there's only one God, the only wise God, Jesus Christ, who can present us faultless and keep us from falling. He's an omniscient God. He's an omniscient God, and people need Jesus. I love somebody. Because he says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am. So no man can cometh unto the Father unless he come by me. He got to come through me. You can't go no other place. And he said, I am what? The door. Keep up, up, up. And those that believe in me will be able to enter into that door. Because any man that calleth upon me or cometh unto me, I will in no wise, what? Cast them out. Amen. Don't cast people out. Yeah. Don't cast people. You, you ain't got no reason to cast. You can't cast anybody out. Come on. <laughs> can't cast anybody. But let's let's look at the story because I, I got to get out of here soon. But I want you to understand, Amen. That the testimony. I mean, the the, the testimony. Okay, of all prophecy is the life the ministry of Jesus Christ. Pray Jesus. Talk Jesus. That's what it is. No man cometh unto God. I am the resurrection. I am the life. If any man believeth in me, yet though he be dead, he shall live. Any man that liveth, that believeth on me, amen, shall never die. Believeth this, what? Thou. And that death is not the natural death. It's the second death. The one where you're eternally separated from God. Amen. So what puts us in the fellowship of, of God eternally is Jesus Christ. And we can't take it any, any other way. Praise God. You understand what I'm saying? And let's go over to Luke 5, 15. And we're going to look at the character, how these three characters represent the gospel. Hello? Mm -hmm. Now, the names you call other people, amen, are the names that you operate in. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I was told back in the day that it takes one to... No one. No one. <laughs> All right? Hello. And it's amazing. People can say, oh, man, look at that boy. Man, he's, he, he ain't right. He ain't this. He ain't that. Oh, he just preaching the gospel because he got on uh, gaiters and snake skins, okay, and a slick vest, and he got a brown tan shirt and a rose gold. I see this because God doing him good. He ain't no real preacher. He ain't, he ain't this. How come nobody called me a billionaire? Amen. Oh, man, that's the billionaire boy over there. <laughs> that's the multi-billionaire, but he built the churches all over the world. Amen. I never talk about that, but they ain't doing nothing. They ain't building nothing all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not the joker, but I'm laughing. <laughs> Hello? Because you don't know today your faith won't be tried. Hello? They didn't speak very good of Mary. They didn't speak very good of Jesus. Hello? And they're not speaking too good of the church right now. They're calling them haters. Mm -hmm. They walk in hate crimes. It's a hate group. <laughs> Hello? Come on, somebody. Oh, y'all don't hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm telling you something. Prophesy and talk out of the spirit of the word. And I can go back and show you those scriptures, but, you know, God has already handled these things through the power, the redemptive blood of Jesus Christ. 
And the more you know Jesus, the more you understand grace, you understand mercy. And if it be not for the grace of God, there go I. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. We need a good read. Pastor Mike, mm -hmm. you want to start at 11, please? And he said, a certain man. And we're going to read all the way through 32. Okay. 32. Okay. I'm going to have everybody stand while we read the works. I just want to summarize, but I want you to have it in your spirit, okay? All right. And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he, he divided unto them his living. Okay, so now the younger son asked the father. He didn't take it. He didn't still he didn't go into his bank account. Right. Okay. And forge his name or nothing. But he asked for it and he rightfully what? Received it out of due season. Mm. Out of due season. You ever receive something out of due season? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you receive out of due season. Mm -hmm. mm. But he did not take it. He asked for it. So it was up to the father, his own volition, whether he should give it to him or not. Hello. But the father did what? Did he give it to him? Okay. Did he steal it? No. Okay. So you see here free moral agency on both sides, right? Okay. All right. Keep moving. Keep running. Verse 13. And not many days after the young son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. Okay. Now, not uncommon. Not uncommon. People come to church when they're doing bad. Mm -hmm. They get blessed with a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. They get a job. They get a boyfriend. They get a husband. <laughs> okay. All right. And what do they do? Leave. They leave mm -hmm. the church mm -hmm. and they go the do whatever they want to do. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Mm -hmm. right. Have you seen it before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, y'all prayed me out of jail. So guess what, man? I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Not like under Peter when he was prayed out of jail, yeah. he went back to the what? To the prayer meeting and knocked on the dough. Mm -hmm. Hello? Okay. So he went out and he what? Had riotous living and he wasted it mm -hmm. because he was separated. He separated himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. From his father. He yeah. separated himself. But you're going to see the father never separated himself from his son. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Okay. All right. My children are very good children. They do everything I like? No. I'm not expecting them to. Mm -hmm. But they can't be set. I can't be separated from them. Yeah. Okay, come on, somebody. Amen? Amen. 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 A lot of times y'all will separate yourself from me, but I never separate myself from you. Amen. And usually when you're separating yourself from me, you don't want to hear you living good, you got a degree, you got a love life. Come on, somebody. You got a little party or something. You got a car. You got a little something, something, and then you decide to leave. Am I right or wrong? True. Okay. So look, the story is this telling us about ourselves all day long. First person. Second clue. Okay. All right. I don't need that no more. I've been praying. I have prayed with you 15 years, man. And, 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 and guess what? I got a new house. I got a Cadillac. I got a Benz car. Okay. I'm married now. Okay. <laughs> All right? And you just, shoo, shoo, 
And then you find out some kind of way that there's a way under man that seemeth right where the end there leads to detachment, death, trying to figure your way out. So I'm going to tell you something. I'm getting ready to blow up big time in ministry like you've never seen. Mm. Am I? I, I hate being so prideful. I ain't proud if I listen to God. Well, agree. come on. I can agree. Because I've been preaching to people for some 30 years who don't want to half hear nothing. Well, and God said half of the world more wants to hear you and they need to hear you. Come on. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. People can't sit still. Got all sorts of places to go. All right, I ain't mad. But I can see. Keep it moving. Hello, somebody. Come on. Hello. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. All right. Everybody else blessed to be a blessing, but they ain't trying to bless me. <laughs> but I still bless them. Well. Wow. Thank you. And I'm not mad. So the father was not mad. Mm -hmm. But it said he went out and he wasted his substance. Because he didn't have knowledge how to handle the blessing. Yes. See, once you get to understand that when you get blessed, the blessing is to be returned back to the blessed source kingdom from which you received it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he went out and he had riders. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to have riders living anyway. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it. I've seen it over and over and over again. Get out of jail card. Uh, get get something that you want and you forget who blessed you. Wow. You forget where it came from. Yeah. Okay, so I tell you about my father all the time. I love my father's legacy, what he did. Okay, you're looking at his legacy. Okay? Yeah. I can get up I can go to work every day. I love somebody, not work, but I go to my office. I don't work because I love what I do, so I don't work. Amen. I love somebody and I go in on time. And I leave when I'm finished, not ahead of time, got no place else to go. <laughs> I take my money, I take care of my family, I take care of a lot of people, but I take care of God's kingdom. Amen. So it's, on, it's based upon how you're able with knowledge and wisdom to handle the blessing. Yeah. He wasn't mature enough. Yeah. So because you get a little anointing, mm. you get a little car, you get a little degree, Amen. You don't have the full knowledge of how to handle it. It is to glorify God because no flesh shall stand in his glory. Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Everybody catching this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then when you get to a place mm, where you've overcome something, okay, and your overcoming may have be, be temporary. Because you don't know the power of the seduction of the devil and the temptation of the flesh. And you forgot 1 Corinthians 10, 13, which says, you know, that God has made a way of escape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't know. So you don't know how to handle things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Premature. All right. Now, let me tell you something. Your development, it might take you years upon years to know how to handle blessings. Hello? Right. Yeah. Might take you years upon years to know how to handle blessings. So he went out and he had right, because he what he got some fast money and he went out and did some fast things. Right? Mm -hmm. But now who was he when he was doing it? He was still a son. Still a son. He was the younger son. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you are, you are still a son. You are yeah. still a daughter. Yeah. You have right privileges, and God says over in 8, um, 14 of Romans, okay, that my spirit witnesses to your spirit that you are a son and that you are in joint heir unto Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't let anybody try to railroad you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, some things we got to get right with God. We're already right with God, but we got to get some things right with God, but we're right with God. Yeah. Mm. Because we're justified. Mm -hmm. Okay, read on. Now, if you really need to sit down, sit down. It's okay. Whatever you decide. I'm, I'm cool. I know how to work around all this stuff. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. And he with fame have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. 
and no man gave unto him. See, no man. So I've been in situations where no man would give. Okay? You said, what did you need, Bishop? What did you need, Apostle? What did you need, Doctor? What did you need, Papa? What did you need, Dad? I need somebody to love me. Hmm. Hey, hey. I need somebody to pray for me with divine understanding and wisdom. Hmm. Hello? But what they would say is, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> and laugh. And then they would come back and they Let me tell you something. The greater you are, the greater the attack. Amen. Now you have legions of angels around you. Amen. Hallelujah. But it's a bombardment. Yeah. And I told you, on the movies, sometimes you'll see, you know, one or two archers. They might have thousands of archers. And then the next thousand. And the next, they would have like maybe 50,000 archers. 50,000 of them. So thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Fiery darts of the enemy, accusing the brethren both day and by night. So what do they have to do? You'll see them in formation, right? And one person will get down on the ground, put a shield up. The other person around will put a shield up, and they have the shields over their head. Mm, touch not thine anointing. And do that prophet no harm. Because that son was also an anointed, anointed because he was an heir. Mm -hmm. Come on. He was an heir. He was an heir. And you're an heir. And you're an heir. And you're an heir. And you're an heir. Stop liking, acting like airheads. Mm -hmm. But be an heir. Mm -hmm. And a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Hey. Hello. I'm going to be finished soon. The faster he reads, the faster I finish. I only got 15 minutes. Okay, go ahead, Pastor. And when, he, <laughs> and when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my okay, father? Okay, when he did what? He said, came to himself. He came to himself. Now, what time, what's the timeline between him receiving his, his, the, what his father gave him and the time that he came to himself? What's the timeline? Cousin, sir. What? Doesn't so. You a doctor, you educate, educate. What was the timeline? I don't recall it being one. Okay, you don't recall it being one? What's the timeline? I don't remember. Don't there is no timeline. Ain't no timeline. There's sir. no timeline. It could have been 10 years. It could have been a billionaire. It could have been 10, 15 years. So there is a what? There is a set time. Mm -hmm. But you don't know when that time. There is a set 